Quality, aquí mostrándole esta construcción en plantation que estamos haciendo. Este es el sistema que estamos usando de, de trozos floor joints, como se llama. Estamos aportando el, todo el piso para poder ponerle peso arriba a lo que es el bloque, para poder hacer el segundo piso. Por eso que estamos usando estos bloques aquí, metal, con esas ligas ahí, estamos aportando todo. Aquí hicimos, hemos estado un poco atrasados con lo que es el, los videos y todo eso, pero aquí ya hicimos lo que es el tie beam, el block, el primer piso. Uh, uh, tenemos el layer ahí para soportar lo que es el floor joints. Y de aquí, vengan por acá, les voy a mostrar. Y aquí tiramos el piso. Ahora estamos haciendo el segundo piso de, de, de bloque. Igualmente tuvimos que hacer un, un bearing wall, es una, es una pared de, de soporte que tenemos ahí, soportando el segundo piso igualmente. Aquí llevamos todos los nuevos conectores, los US Frax que le llaman, el bearing wall. También están conectados con unos tornillos, unos red head, se le llaman red head, uh, de media pulgada, y los US Frax. Uh, también uh, hicimos la escalera que es la escalera la, el cine, para poder tener acceso al segundo piso esa es la escalera ahí también la de ahí arriba todo bien. y también el porche acá atrás de este de lado el porche ya está hecho también igual hicimos todo lo que es el tie-in cálamos Estamos en bloque y concreto el, lo que es el tie bien en la parte de arriba para poder soportar el, el deck de arriba. Igualmente aquí se hizo un diseño con las trozas. Si ustedes ven ahí hay dos trozas dobles que van a soportar una, una tina de baño en el segundo piso. Va a ser, esa es, un, es una tina ahí arriba. Entonces va a soportar todo el peso. Esa va a ser parte de la, del, aire, de aire, del aire acondicionado en el segundo piso. Y va, vamos para allá arriba para, para ver el, el bloque. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let me talk about it here. All right, guys. So, like he was mentioning, I'm gonna go ahead and say it now in English. Uh, that's my father. He's the owner of the company. Um, as you guys can see, I know we came here out uh, last time. I didn't talk as much of, of what's going on in the property since I'm not really sure what's going on here. But like you guys can see, he was mentioning about these shorings that we have here. These shorings. Uh, they we mainly got these so we can support the weight on top of the house since we are installing the block like you guys saw in the video we're installing the block on top on the second floor and this is just to support all that weight that we have there and that we won't collapse now um, also like you guys can see they did the stairs right behind me and then over here on this side where he was talking about some red heads and a bearing wall um, we have this bearing wall right here that calls in the plan we have our typical, I think it's a half by four and something. I don't remember the exact uh, measurements of these redheads, but we have a redheads going, what it calls for on the plan, right across here. And then also they created a tub over here in the back, which she was talking about, for where the AC uh, condenser is going to be, the world air handler is going to be at. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it right there in that section right there um now he was mentioning to me and he didn't say here in the video where the stairs are at there were some trusses where the engineer and the architect kind of screwed up on it and you have to have i believe it's minimum six feet eight inches for your staircase and if you can see right behind me that truss right here it's not gonna make it and then it was another joist over there and this one right here that they had to cut off because it wasn't gonna work out you're gonna hit your head on top of that the only one that's gonna work is where you can see this I beam right here on top of this floor joist that's the only one that's gonna work and let me just go over a little bit down here uh, mainly everything was really like eight feet and then we had to do a tie beam which I did show in the past and after that we had to level up with block again but now let's go up to the second floor. These guys are supposed to finish up 
today. We got our lentils that arrived here today. It kind of took about, I don't know, a month for me to get this material out here, but we were able to get it out here. Um, and hopefully we'll be done with this project within the next couple of days. Alright guys, as you guys can see, we were here just yesterday and they installed the block, they're done, they were done with that. Now we came out here today to go ahead and do the tie beam, put the forms, put the steel, make sure the steel was all in place, make sure we clean out anything. If any rebar did not match up to where it had to be with the down sill, we went ahead and epoxy all that stuff, put another rebar in there and tied everything and make sure we supported all of our tie beams so that way anything won't fall whenever we pour concrete so now this is totally different not totally different now this is totally ready for us to go ahead and pour which is going to be on thursday of next week so let's go ahead real quick up there and check it out i know i just flew the drones you guys got to see a little bit of it but let's go up there now As you can see in here, we already removed all the scaffoldings, the I-beams that were supporting the roof since we had all the block on top of there. So that way the guys that were installing the block would have been easy for them instead of having to carry everything from down here and taking it all the way up through the stairs. It was much more easier that way. All we had to do is rent some scaffolding, some I-beams just to support this and protect all these trusses. And we got it done, now we removed it. We have it already in place outside over there so that way they can come pick that up. And we kind of cleaned up inside here as well so it looks nice and pretty for the inspector. Now let's head on up to the second floor. Hopefully it's not too noisy and hopefully you guys can actually hear me. All right, so let's start up over here. Uh, kind of wanted to explain what we did. Uh, since, did I tie that? I did not tie that, I gotta tie that. So you see, right here um we had to epoxy this since there was no rebar here as you can see it's right here uh the opening was wrong so we had to make it bigger and we had to put this rebar in there six inches deep and now we have to tie this there since this goes all the way to the top all over there and this is another thing that we did right here to support this tie beam whenever we pour in concrete we won't remove this until like probably 15 days. We didn't use snow lentils. It's just straight up rebar, solid concrete. We did all our window sills, as you can see right here. It does not call for a rebar. Some plans do call for a number five, number four rebar, or they'll call in for a precast uh, sill. But we just go ahead and pour Myers up for it. It's a lot more easier. They just give us the rough openings. And all we do is just measure from the top of the beam, well, from the bottom of the beam, all the way down. And we just add how much it has to be. I believe this is like four inches thick. Same thing goes for over here. I gotta go ahead and cut these right here as well. Uh, as you can see right here, actually, oh, I didn't tie this one either. I gotta go ahead and tie these two. That was only two that I had left over. Good thing I'm catching that right now. And we have to make sure everything's kind of clean now or else the inspector will fail us for that. Be careful with those nails.
you can see that right there let me see if i can get up on this ladder real quick just to show you guys all right i'm not sure if you guys got to see that right there but we just got to make sure that none of the rebar is actually touching the wood because then it'll call it burning and we just have it nice and separate so it doesn't touch at all we got a bunch of lazy guys right here they're getting very scared because i'm recording them look at it <laughs> what they're trying to do they're trying to pull in that form in this way it's just one way of uh doing it instead of trying to hit it with a hammer you put a nail on there and then you lever it and then the other guy just nails it right there it's as simple as that and as you can see we have some support right here so that whenever we're pouring this none of this will like fall out down there because that is very dangerous you only have these columns right here supporting it but that's a long long span right there so that's what we're showing that up right there and with that support triangles are strong guys we all know that we learned that in school but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and kind of clean up this up here make sure everything's pretty for the inspector so that way we can go ahead and pass see like i had a rebar right here and we had to epoxy one right down there tie it to the down cell rebar that's coming from up all the way down but yeah guys uh we'll probably be back here whenever we are pouring it maybe i may not be here i think my camera cut off on me but we may be back here uh after the fact after they pour it or we we'll probably be back here when the trusses are being flown up we'll find out Alrighty guys, so we'll be back.